More and more, we are witnessing grandparents suddenly thrust in the role of raising grandchildren. Dana Black never expected to fall into this role. However, shortly after her granddaughter, Charlie, was born in March of 2020, Dana was contacted by Children's Services to inform her that Charlie's parents, who were both struggling with their own challenges, would not be able to care for Charlie at the time. Within a few short weeks, Dana's time and energy was spent with everything from diaper changing and night feedings to dealing with social workers, all while working full time and being a single parent. With Charlie's ba basic needs taken care of, Dana had other important issues to consider, Charlie's future and educational needs. In January, 2021, Dana assumed legal guardianship of Charlie, was able to focus on more permanent planning for her granddaughter. Based on her experience with her own children, Dana understood that promoting literacy meant surrounding Charlie with language in many forms, including reading, speaking, and singing. She wasted no time signing up for the supper time story time and pajama time rhymes that bind. There's a pajama time rhymes that bind now? Oh, I'm really missing out. Dana learned baby sign language as means of communicating with Charlie before she could speak. And she created a binder of resources from the programs, such as book lists, extension activities, and parenting tips to reference as Charlie gets older. When Charlie started daycare, the staff noted that she was more developed than some children at the same age, no surprise. And while she had limited exposure to other children, Charlie already understood how to take turns and to share. Two years ago, Dana's life took an unplanned detour. And despite facing numerous, chal numerous challenges, she, was em she embraced her role with enthusiasm as she focuses on giving Charlie the love, skills and stability she needs to reach her full potential. Congratulations, Dana, on winning the Family Literacy Award. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Debbie. What a, what a great introduction. Thank you so much. Um, my first experience with the literacy program was actually in 1996, when my adoptive son and I joined a literacy program. We had so much fun. We were learning new songs, stories, and we continued with those skills until 1999 when my daughter was born. And then we joined Rhymes That Bind through CFL. We had a lot of fun. We were always singing songs. We were always reading stories. All the while, they thought they were just having fun, but they were actually learning. They were learning new colors, numbers, and other literacy skills and developing the love of singing and reading. Many of these songs and stories I still have in my toolbox. And to this day, my son absolutely loves reading and he reads every chance he gets. My daughter, now that she's finished with her academics, is starting to learn that she can love to read as well, um, more novels and things like that. As you heard from Debbie, in March, 2020, my, child, my son and his girlfriend had their daughter, Charlie. And due to mental health concerns, they were unable to take her home. It wasn't even a question in my mind that she would be moving to my home. And then in 2021, we went to court and I obtained sole legal guardianship. This was the absolute best gift that those children could have ever given their daughter. And I totally commend them for the courage that it took to do that. Um, it was clear right from the very beginning that Charlie loved music. And so once we had guardianship settled, we had to move forward and find new programs. I was so ecstatic to find the Center of Family Liter Literacy again. Um, the programming, and I couldn't wait to register. Like you heard, I registered for Supper Time, Story Time, and Pajama Time Rhymes at Find. We had just so much fun. Um, yes, the sign language. Sign language was so invaluable because Charlie could tell us that she wanted milk and she wanted more and she wasn't getting frustrated because we understood what she was telling us. Charlie can now recite her alphabet. She can count to 50. She can count backwards from 12 and she knows many of her colors. 
And I use these literacy tips every day in our play and in our interaction when we're driving and as a distraction when she's upset. I feel that she was, again, more developed in daycare. And it's been recently identified that she is advanced um, in that she can recognize her numbers. She has her colors and her letters. So they've been working with her to help continue to develop those skills. CFL has also helped myself though. They've helped Charlie and I to bond as we continue to join classes. We're singing songs, not only in class, but again, outside of class, we love to read. And while she doesn't always sit and listen to a book, she is certainly learning the words, hearing the stories and learning all the different skills that go along with that. I have so many pictures of her at daycare where she's sitting there reading a book and telling stories to anybody who will listen. And she's standing up on their little stage, singing and dancing and doing all the things that, you know, little kids should be doing. I really thank CFL for that because I feel that they were very instrumental in helping me with these skills. Their website, your website also is amazing. There's so many literacy tips there. There's resources, there's books. And there's things that you can just go to for general information. Like I said, I have the binder, like Debbie said, and I keep everything in there so I can go back and look at a song if I've kind of forgotten how it goes. We look forward to our classes and we really do miss them during break. I'm really looking forward to taking the other classes in the future with Charlie when she's older. The gift of literacy is one of the most valuable gifts that you can give to a child. It's important to make learning fun and interactive and these activities that we are able to do together bring us closer. And I thank CFL for this. It's because of all the work that you do, your fabulous educators, the interaction that they have with their children and everything else that we're able to do this. So thank you very much and keep up the great work.